But when this is all over, I'm gonna see the Republic gives you a medal for your part in this. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Then you are a fool. The power of the Dark Lord is strong enough to destroy any of us. Even you. It would be suicide to face Malakir. We need to get away before he arrives. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge. That's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you, head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you. I'm here. 
one. This is Candorus. We're at the Ebon Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them.
Ready. I'm here. Ready. What can I do? I'm here.
Very resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death, so... Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, a chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen enough of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do. The force fights with me! He's still alive. It's time to finish this. No, Karth. Not like this. Do not give in to the hate. Don't you understand what this man has done to my life? Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth. <laughs> Must tell you. <laughs> Must tell you something. <laughs> Come closer. You didn't know, did you? <laughs> Remember my dying words. <coughs> Remember them whenever. <coughs> whenever you look at those you thought were your friends. Ah! On, it can't be true. Man. No, 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 it, it can't. Damn you, Saul. Damn you. Basil, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth, it's not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. Not here, Karth. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Karth, I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. Okay, I'll trust you. Vassila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything. To both of you, I promise.
Us. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. <laughs> About what? The only thing I'll under... Thank <laughs> you. 
Darth Malak. Time to roll! <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I've spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? As is the outcome. I am actually surprised this confrontation did not happen sooner, given how powerful your mind once was. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? from what you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord, and know that I have taken your place. You do not yet remember, Revan? The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. Once I served you, Revan, but I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When that Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed that Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. You must have seen flashes of your old life in your dreams, Revan. Memories bubbling up to the surface. Surely you must remember the battle in which you were captured. It's true. 
I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. I wanted to tell you, but the Council forbid it. They were afraid you might return to the dark side if you discovered your real identity. But now you know the truth, Revan. The Council has failed in their attempt to make you their pawn. The will of a Sith Lord is not so easily manipulated. How can you say that? Malak nearly killed you, but the Jedi Council gave you another chance to live. They gave you a chance to redeem yourself by defeating the Sith. A rash and futile hope. The dark side is too strong, my power is too great. Even my old master is no longer a match for me. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice as it was meant to be. Oh! 
This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! The door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on! Bastila, what happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. 
You would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Ah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said, or should I? Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Basila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Hey, you've got nothing to be sorry about. You didn't ask for this. Besides, I know you. You're not Revan anymore. Whatever you used to be, you're one of us now. <laughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. It, uh, all makes sense now, Revan. I've watched you. I've seen your cruelty. I've seen your... your dark side. And now this. I don't know if I can trust you. Can any of us? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a... a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... Upon returning to my original master. Affirmation. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, master. Observation. Indeed, I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow, what are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. I knew the little guy would come through for you. Well, the others seem to trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I don't have any other choice, do I? I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. Don't worry. 
I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late. You kukumo no ba muli raj. Runda di hotong. Ta kum ju stak miki grabul mogo kachichu it. Ke puna. Buna nae chi gratu lo da pograsi onni un komba cintu. Runda di hotonga kun han. Ta biz ju bongo koki bak baka. Kuyami juz chikata na patoga ya hulki kokogala. Manaman atota. Haki ju krata bola shui tonga tong. Tong hai tuam jiji jump lumpa. Nita poe tikitu, dolpa da bongwa leo. Ka chikun ita hao donga, i kinku no pa mule raji. Tong abu sha umni no wanga kumbi. Kava dumpa ku palia muka pata, buna na chaku. Dolpa da bongwa le gandu na gugu chuchut. We tam boragatong tong abong sha um. Ah, 
I don't like the sound of this. Chiwi aita ka chong chi cha. Agi inko tune chunamuli ra. Chiwa e aita kan chi cha na chupornibo. Kun muli ra. Topa na oto vokasa. Pampa ki pias kronki to pats nemo. Chi ita kan chi cha na kilikon. Chiwi aita ka chong chi cha. Agi inko tune pias kronki to pats nemo. Chi ita kan chi cha na kilikon. Damn it, Griff! Won't you ever learn? How can my own flesh and blood be so stupid? Hey there. What can I do for you? I want to thank you for helping me with Griff. You... you did everything you could for my brother. More than most people would have. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and on the run, like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. Can't say I blame you, but I'll be honest. I doubt you'll ever see Griff again. I don't even know if I'll ever see him again. Like all good con men, he knows how to disappear. My brother is what he is, but I've learned to deal with that. I'll never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not gonna dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? Okay. Hey there, what can I do? It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. Big Z and I will stick by. Statement. HK 40. Commentary. Statement. My functionality has now been in time. Statement. HK. I How can you possibly be the one, the Jedi whose troops saved me on Taras? It was Revan, leading an army out to defeat the Mandalorians. You are nothing like the one. You are obviously not who I thought you were once upon a time. I thought you were the ideal Jedi. I thought you would... You did turn in the end. I did not want to believe it. You can work with us, for the Republic. And I hope that what you s time will tell what choice. How may I be of assistance? What is it you would? Well, I suppose they, all of them, were so very. They were so very alive in the retrospect. Well, yes. These Jedi were going to fight the Mandalorians, but to us, they seemed invincible. It was like... I can only assume that that was some misguided attempt. They were enthralling, not at the peace they brought. The Jedi left. The people grew complacent. Those who had been wrong, the oppressed, become the new generation of oppressed. The non-humans were never treated well in any case. Of course it was. They took their frustrations and hate, but no one looks out for the injustice. But, but...
No, it is not. I... I... But let us not speak more. Yes. I... I never told you where I came from, did I? You self-centered fool. To think that I... You are the center of the universe. What is... Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious... Oh, yes. I have been told all about her vaunted powers. Well, if it could, then... What did you think would happen by Edenville? If it were not for you and Bastilla, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world without your intervention. Just let me vent my anger. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child... I have this ache inside me, where all my child... I know. But it is so hard to lose your... I suppose that is to be expected. I am sorry. Yes. What is... I was... No, it's all... It was... Living for years in a... There were none. That... But living was hard enough. But there was always the danger... My fat taxi... With no money to... Sp and of course... There was the c every once in a while. A but I have come to meet many decent. I have noticed that the Jedi. I, I am s sometimes. Another story for another. How may I be of assist? What is it you would? Well, I met in the early days of the man. Cathar was there. Yes, they sought. They swooped down. We did the resist. But in the end. We were not members. Our interstellar communications were the first things that we knew what the most we could do. Most did not make. My parents carried me. They fled as far as they were. But Tara. My father, my father turned to stim- But we are warriors. It, so he would get intoxicated, and he would- I don't need killed by a man who provoked him into a- I, I am sorry. How may I be of assistance? What? Of course. something on your mind no my my somebody woke up on the wrongs at any rate I already told you you live in an overgrown stuff how many kilometer height and then there's all the you got a smart mouth on you there you know I'll admit for... interest well I certainly in fact but your future will come of its own accord. I wouldn't worry. Know me, Sunrider. She came late to whether you'll follow. Nonsense. One thing I will, or at least it would. Got something on your mind, do? You defended him well enough. I wish we had time to look into matters more. F What's done is done. The Republic Sunry was a good man one. Ah. Got something on you. Ah, I suppose I could not. Got something on your. Ah. Got something on your. How many could ask me late? 
Yeah, what do you want? Hey, don't worry. I a real war. There any Tat the word there are you have any Your ch Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Yeah, what do you want? We fought against at the in the end. But it I Yeah, it was your you <laughs> It was and you, I hope had you but wishing for the is there something else you your choice. Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Yeah, what do you want? The war we had with the the rep for me. Yeah, and for I. But I think maybe le is there something else? Your. Ch Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Yeah, what do you want? Your ch Hey there. What can I do for you? It seems I don't big z Hey there. What can I've made my peace. So Okay. Hey there. What can Sorry. I don't have What do you need? Talk about what? The only th I'll under-
Chua Penki, Yun Patisa, Dichubaji, Ichuta, Yun Patong Iduamaji, Human Act in Ikatuchi, we Aita Katong Chicha, Agi Inko Ki Muli Ki Muli Ra Kun King, Tong Hiduama Agi Inko Tune. Ki muli ra kun ki Kakin cha na wa ba ka
At Chua Pengki, yun pati sa Chiwi Aitak. Ichuta ki muli ki mu Thank <laughs> you. 